Good morning. Give me a second to share this. I um, hit an all-time new low with my channel the other day. I'm having Facebook issues with sharing my content and even streaming. So I'm going to need you guys to share this feed out a little more. Give me a second to find and post it. When I share it, I'm noticing that it tend my content's getting deleted. Not only am I not able to share it, I'm noticing like I'll go to post something on my real page and I posted my last feed three times and all three times my video was deleted and Facebook was so lovely. They sent me um, a message saying it's just a tech issue. <laughs> but I'm having a really hard time and I'm watching um, my channel be really affected by this along with a lot of other people. So I'm going to need you guys to share this out a little more. I can do it to my own networks. So try to share it like outside of our networks if you can. See, I've been blocked on this account for over a month with no bans and no restrictions from sharing. I can't share it at all. They say it's a Facebook glitch. Um, but let's get real. I can't even share it in my own groups actually. I can share it in some of them. So if you're in my groups, try to share it outside of our networks. Go ahead and drop your name if you're going to want a card. I give away an activation off of every video. I'm trying to get this content out there clearly. I keep trying at least. I'll keep trying. <laughs> So go ahead and drop your name if you're going to want a card. I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant. Um, I've been talking a lot about matrix hacking. It's one of my favorite topics. So we're going to talk about sex and hacking today. Briefly, before I do cards, I'll do my little rant. Um, and if you guys have video ideas, message my business page. I'm happy to cover anything on video. I'm real knowledgeable in pretty much all things spiritual and how they work. So if you guys have like a certain topic, my business page inbox is the only way I am receiving Facebook messages. I'm going to be doing my live, taking my usual meditation break, and then I'll be back for Akashic readings today and tomorrow. You guys know I usually I prefer healing. It's a little easier to find me for that. So if you guys purchase a reading, I'll be getting back to you within the next 48 hours, and I'm really excited. I spent a lot of time on recharge yesterday. Um, to get ready for the energy today, you guys had to realize I work in cycles. <laughs> I come when the energy comes. I'm following this energy. It's kind of um, led me 15,000 miles across the world at this point. So I'm kind of adept in following and being led around by this conscious energy that can communicate with me and through me. It's pretty amazing. So I work with the energies. I'm really in tune with these cycles. We go through regular cycles um, astrologically. We, I was dreaming about this last night too. We're getting ready um, because I was researching um, Neptune last night before I went to sleep. So it was probably influencing my dreams. But we're getting ready to hit six planets in retrograde. We also are having eclipses next month. I know everyone will sell you on the idea that these are beautiful events and you should go watch them. Um, in my reality, um, I actually stay inside during any eclipses at all, whether they're solar or lunar. I am not a big fan of the energy. Um, and, you know, it's really amazing. I was telling everyone that, you know, a couple of years ago on feed and everyone thought I was crazy, but that's actually how the natives handle it. They look at it like a system reboot and we probably shouldn't be around that energy. It's not the greatest. Even if you're hiding inside, you're going to assimilate a lot of that energy. And I know people think it feels amazing. Those are false light downloads that people are receiving that are outside. <laughs> so we're getting ready for some crazy astrological stuff. That's my boyfriend's teddy bear. I'm into the rhino, as you know. <laughs> Go ahead and drop. I'm going to give people a minute to get on here before I start ranting. Go ahead and share this feed out. I had, this was an all-time new low. You guys know that I have thousands of regular people that tune in um, every time I do a stream. Pretty much the same people I'm drawing to me. Sometimes we get new people, but I pretty much know most of the people on this feed. I had a couple hundred shares and my video hit an all-time low of only 800 views the other day. And I noticed that when I posted it, they were being deleted, all of my shares. I'm not sure what happened. Facebook said it was a tech problem. But that's an all-time new low because I've been on band, so I'm lucky if I'm getting a few thousand people. My numbers have dropped crazy, but that was crazy to me. So I'm going to need you guys to share this out. I clearly can't. 
Um, there are people whose channels are being affected by this. What they do is they try to shut down your income by shutting down your channel to take people out. I see it happen when I was doing end time news. The people that I work with on the news, their channels are removed every day off of YouTube, but we're not violating any policies despite what people might think. Um, and I think it's really crazy to me that I never ever had a Facebook fan. I've been on my mission over three years. And I've been on live feed every day pretty much for those years. And a lot of you guys know me as the end time news girl where I'm covering current events generally. And I reached a point in my own spiritual evolution where I realized that it wasn't good to be covering these events. That maybe we should be talking about things that we want to manifest, not the things that we don't like. And I stopped covering the news a few months ago. And the second I stopped teaching these false light teachings that are circulating everywhere in the spiritual communities, you know, just the stuff that you woke up and learned off of Google, um, I started to get censored in a crazy kind of way. The first time that I went on feed from my yoga place in California, I've been banned ever since. <laughs> like, I just think it's really crazy as long as we're teaching this stuff. So I'm going to do a feed on sex, smashing the twin flame labels and all of them, love, and how your sex life is affecting you. I'm sure this will be a popular feed. <laughs> so make sure you guys are sharing it. Um, go ahead and drop your name. I'm going to do some cards too. Um, the problem with humanity is we are being fed on this is seen as a food place and it wasn't always like this it makes it easy when people are having sex not out of love because there's two types of situations you can have if you're having sex and you both are in love and you have an open heart chakra it's going to be a game changer it will actually elevate you energetically it is possible to merge your soul together with another the problem is a lot of these sexual encounters are being done on lower levels where it's just the physical there's no love involved and if you're going to have sex that way you're opening yourself up for entity feedings on a basic kind of way i love the term love bite that will be a relationship that has been manipulated to set up an encounter with you. I bet 99% of you have had a love bite relationship and you really didn't even realize it. Um, let me just say that part of my lucidity came from being in that twin flame union. And then suddenly I realized, because we know everything's orchestrated here, that it was just too much of a coincidence the things that were happening to me involving that relationship, this was someone who was very high up in the Knight Templars and Mason, Masonics, and they say they protect the type O negative bloodline, which I have, but I also have um, the immunity gene as well combined with that. And they say they protect this bloodline, but I felt targeted at the end of this relationship. <laughs> I felt targeted. I felt that it was too much of a coincidence and I'm not really into coincidences anymore. It's more like synchronicities for me or the universe leading me. And then I began to realize that anyone who says that they're with their twin flame is actually just in a karmic relationship. That's how the universe will get you onto your lessons. Do you think that you would, after waking up spiritually, go finish your last karmic relationship knowing that? Of course not. That's how the universe had to trick me into it and lead me along. And when I cleared up that karma, I was able to liberate on deep levels. So that is a reptilian program agenda, the twin flame label. I know people are going to be so upset with me because so many people have their identities wrapped up in this. But did you really think that you are healed enough if there was a twin flame to be with this person? Do you not see this as an infinite learning process that we have a lot of work still to do? And if you want to get technical, you're not going to get that complete union until you're complete yourself. And I know everyone will think because of the teachings around here that we are complete and we are whole, but we really have a long way to go. So these concepts never made sense to me. <laughs> like some things about them never really made sense to me. And right before I left for California, I was being taught how to smash down these labels for us. I realized that kids go to school and all they learn how to do is label things. Green, tree, blue whatever they just throw labels on words and that is a way to separate and to divide us but it's also a form of an enslavement program so when we're labeling these relationships we know they're not right we know that when you're calling yourself an indigo or you know pleiadian or syrian that these labels will limit you in every way they imprison you it's an enslavement program i had it explained to me 
And I'm the perfect one to go through this journey on camera so I can help smash down these paradigms. It's part of what I came here for. But I realized someone, um, I was told that, that that program served me. These religious programs, these enslavement programs, they are serving humanity on some level. That I did have to go through that way of learning before I could elevate out of it. So a lot of people are really like on an attack about religions and things like that. But we really have to start in these places. So I basically just evolved out of that enslavement program, I was told, and it served its purpose while I was in it, but I was ready to advance out of it at some point. I did a lot of spiritual work in that relationship, unlike the person I was with who never meditated, ate garbage food, didn't do any work. So I'm sure we started out at a low frequency together. Like I was on drugs, it's no surprise. I was on a lot of prescription medications and they had a low frequency anyways. So what will happen in your relationship is if you're having sex with someone, you're going to combine your energy. So while I'm over here doing a ton of spiritual work, I wasn't going to elevate. I'll be elevating both of us slowly. And the thing is, when I left, my spiritual evolution just catapulted right to the top and I leveled up so fast from getting away from this person. So let's talk about a relationship if you're in it, aside from these labels. If you're in a relationship, chances are you might have even been married a while. You might be dating a person for a while. I would hope that you are growing spiritually and that you're at a much different place than when you started any relationship you're in just because of this journey. And people are not realizing, I'm seeing it all over our walls, the people that are with someone, how it's weighing you down, your entire energy field on crazy levels. Um, but it's also opening us up to attacks. I was just doing a video yesterday and I had to tell my students that if you guys are having sex with anyone, you guys should be white lighting beforehand because there's a lot of energy that flies around when we have sex. And especially if you're not having it not out of love, that's the kind of energy entities like to feed on. Like it's the kind of energy flying around and there's a lot in the spiritual unseen. So you guys should be using white light if you're having sex at all. You need to be very careful who you're merging, I say, all the time on energetic levels. I don't think people realize that this is kind of like a soul fusion that we're doing. So I see people that um, are recovering from breakups, especially those that are like with narcissistic people and the empath drama. And it's like you have to do a spiritual detox. You actually physically will detox from these relationships when you separate on crazy levels. It's like an energetic detox. So these relationships are really affecting people more than they know. Sex was meant to be a tantric practice. It is a very powerful energy. It is a kundalini energy that is used to create. They have distorted sex to the point where me doing this feed might get me shut down again, right? <laughs> I can't even mention the word. Oh my God. Make sure you guys are sharing this out too. Like I said, if you're just joining on, I give away an activation every video. It's an amazing way to get an activation. Um, share this out. So if I even talk about sex, I might have my channel attacked by Facebook again. We get that. Why? You know, it's in the Bible. It's bad. Whatever. It's a sin. You know, so many contradictions to keep us from unity. There's great power found in sex. It's a powerful creative force flow energy. But if it's done right, like I said, out of love, it's actually a powerful meditation. It will open all of your chakras and it is a way to recharge yourself with cosmic energy as well as kundalini energy, which is powerful. There is power found in the divine feminine. That is why we have been silenced for so long and suppressed and been tried to wipe out of many cultures. I am over here in the United Kingdom and before I came here, I was in Germany and there was an overabundance of masculine energy there. Like such an overabundance of it. It was mind blowing to me. And same with the United Kingdom. There's very, things are out of balance until we come back into balance as equals with the divine masculine and the divine feminine. This will not be solved on any level. So they seek to keep us from unity on very real levels. They will show you television shows where there's baby daddy drama. Everyone is divorced. Everyone is single. They like to show you in their false reality that they're showing you. A cover of every magazine is celebrities fucking everyone and hooking up with everyone. And oh my God, they got a divorce. They're back together. And they show us this drama so that humanity will emulate it. They seek to keep you alone and miserable on deep levels because 
through love is power. I like to say your soul dies without love, but without that love energy in your body, you really do start to rapid age and die. So it's an energy that is really a necessity to all life. <coughs> I choked on air. Um, let's just say that like literally this energy is crucial. I had cancer as a kid and I was one of those kids that woke up real fast at a young age. I already knew that love was all that exists in this matrix. It's the only energy that's real. When people die and go to the other realm, it is all that ever exists. When we are in the astral or the dream realms, we are there ego free. We go with that spiritual aspect only. Only in these realms does that stay here. So there's great power in these power mergers. That is why they seek to keep you out of love and miserable. And we were indoctrinated worse than I think anyone will ever comprehend. I saw orb too. Worse than anyone will ever comprehend on deep levels. That's why I've been enjoying working with your children. <laughs> I've been enjoying working with children who have yet to be indoctrinated in school. I've been imprinting them and it's been pretty amazing because I feel these kids are going to be the real leaders leaders and that we can't do as much because we are very limited in what we believe we can do and these kids are coming here and they have much higher frequencies they are tuned into the higher dimensions but they have yet to be enslaved and indoctrinated on every level so a lot of the people around me your mission is these kids and taking care of them Go ahead and share this feed out if you're just joining on. I'm going to go ahead and insert this in here. Like I said, um, a really good way that you can get activated and unlock everything you brought with you because I keep going over how you've been hacked and you really can't access a lot of the knowledge you brought with you. The website link is above. Um, you guys can set up an attunement and activation, reading, whatever it is. And I keep telling you guys that I am contracted for this work through several councils of light that I have on healing assignment for. And my job is the healers and the light workers only. I'm not dealing with people in the matrix. I'm not trying to wake people up. I am trying to heal and activate the healers. My friend Amelia said she needed a healer for her radio show. I said, I'm sorry. All the healers are broken and I'm working on it. It's my main project. You cannot heal someone else until you heal yourself. And you guys are those healers. And let's get real. We just have a lot more inner work to do right now at this point. So, you know, I had to tell her with a sad face, we're working on it. We are. Any of my healing work, I scan your entire body. I scan your energy field. And these will be the new systems of healing that are going to be in place on this planet. They are galactic systems of healing. They have existed for a very long time. They are. Um, they use a lot of technology in the work I do. It's pretty amazing. Energy and these galactic techniques will be the future of medicine. Nicola, good. You're a star seed. The universe is a huge place. That is who I am seeking to draw back to me. She said she found my video. She doesn't know how. I do. <laughs> I know how. It's not random if you're just clicking on this feed. You actually contracted to learn during these few moments with me as an experience. You are all contracted through these councils of light. A lot of you guys identify as star seeds. You took on missions to serve humanity during this time. I'm not sure in what capacity. Everyone has amazing abilities and they are being called for to assist humanity. I'm not sure what you're gifted in, but before you came here, you contracted for every experience here, much like a school. It's less about what's going on on the planet and more about your spiritual evolution, actually. We're not concerned with humanity. We're not concerned politically or what's going on with these systems. Our only concern is to heal the star seeds and the healers and to put them on their missions. It's pretty amazing. So a lot of you guys might identify as star seeds. Well, you took out contracts with these councils of light. There are several. Um, we're trying to come together galactically to assist at this time. 
So if you are contracted through these councils of light, you are contracted through me at this time as well. So people are finding their way home and finding their way exactly where they should be. It's less about what I'm saying to you and more about the energetic vibrations that I have to come put out on this vibe that are being put out through me as a channel. So you are here to heal. You're here to get some type of training or activation or attunement or whatever it is to help you get on your mission or to help assist you on your mission even better. The biggest thing I have lately is everyone hitting my inbox. <laughs> and then I have the people where I say, well, maybe you should start with Reiki. And they say, oh, I'm a Reiki master. You can't help me. And they move on. And I, say, and I know that they have to come back to me. I hold a key. I hold a key you need. Don't make those mistakes. We learn with all levels. Don't think you are too advanced that I cannot offer you something that you actually need or you wouldn't be repeatedly coming back to me. And I know what that is, but people might not yet. So a lot of, I tell people, like someone's like, oh, I'm going to go take Reiki with someone. See you later. I said, that's amazing. Good luck, but you will come back to me. You cannot progress until you fulfill these contracts with these councils that you've taken on. And I keep on saying there's too many star seeds not on their mission. So we're pulling these contracts and we're pulling you right to me. For a reason, we want you to redeem them or leave the planet. And anyone who is seen as a non-compliance with their mission will be getting counseled and we will be reviewing those, those contracts to decide if we want to continue. These councils and me, we work on even energy exchanges. And this is something I'll just throw in there. Everyone should be. If you are giving in your life and you are not receiving, you need to stop. You need to stop giving when it is one-sided. I know we're here to help. I'm not saying that you want to be service of self. You need to understand that every contract you made was an even energy exchange. So a lot of you guys have relationships where you're giving and giving and giving and then you let people take and take and take. You're the one who needs to break these cycles. You came here to heal the people that you're usually dating. You guys are healers. So you get these awful relationships. You just got confused. You weren't meant to merge that person. You contracted to heal these people. So people are really confused with their roles, what is going on, and there is a disconnect that we hope to gap. Sam King is good morning. There is power in unity. I've been trying to teach people loyalty and unity for a minute. I'll keep trying because as a Taurus, that's all I really care about. A lot of you guys should see that the people around me are being tested all the time. That I'm about to do huge things like on crazy levels and I need to have the right people around me. I'm not going to have my friends turn on me and problems or any of that kind of stuff anymore. So there is power in coming together. That is why people don't like that. Seek unity in your life. Stop chasing the ones that don't want to be there and appreciate the people who around you who do. Those are lessons I've been learning lately as well. Iris Olchik, good morning. You get the American Dream card, which is amazing. Love is the point of all of this. I know everyone thinks it's, you know, whatever, but it leads to love. It leads to love. You do the inner work and you will have love that you would not believe in your life because when you can become love, you'll see it everywhere. All I get is love back. Like with the rare, you know, like I am in the middle of like movement, so some stuff trickles over to me, but you can't say everything's a reflection of me because none of it is. So really, I'm just putting out love and abundance vibes and getting those things back. If you do the energetic work, you're going to find love everywhere. So people are always trying to find love. When you become love, you won't have a problem finding in any place you look. Lisa Cleveland, good. Share this feed out. I know there was so many shares. Like, I just wanted to die with Facebook. It was like an all-time new low. And um, I even had people saying, I'm sorry, you're teaching things that go against what I've learned. I bet. I bet. It's taking me a minute. And I didn't read this stuff on Google. I was given it as a transfer to teach you guys and I'm sure it is I built these spiritual communities around us like I would be referring you to them but I'm still figuring out how to handle it so I see that so I'm sure it is going against the things that you've been taught 
because we've been indoctrinated. We woke up and we're indoctrinated with false light teachings all over again to keep us in a fourth dimensional reality so that we will make better food. I keep on saying this. So I'm sure it is going against the grain. It could be controversial. A lot of you guys obviously are spiritually adept. I'm not drawing the matrix people to me. You're the grid workers. And I seek to lift this grid up. I didn't go live yesterday and I had people in my movements that were complaining they were sick. They weren't feeling good. It is up to us to take over this grid just as the elite are with their darkness and false flag and terror attacks and all their fear drama. It is our duty and our obligation as light workers to come lift up this consciousness grid in whatever way. We are here to raise up consciousness. How we can do that, all I can do every day is work on raising my vibrational frequency. I was feeling low today because I feel that energy grid when I woke up. All I can do, like I threw some music on and started to raise my vibe. That's all I do every single morning. Wake up, raise my own vibe. I can hack my vibration and I can get on here. And if only for five minutes, an hour, I can lift you guys up to my level, we're going to lift up an entire consciousness grid. So there are things that you can do as one person. They would love you to believe that you can't help. You can't make a difference. I am telling you, I am making such a difference that I'm reaching at least 50,000 people a month on this page, according to my statistics, while on Facebook ban for three months. So there is a lot that you can do with your words. That's why they seek to silence us. My words are going out into a continuum and they are recoding our reality as we speak through these feeds. There's so much that you can do. Iris, I mean, Lisa, sorry. Yes, Iris, have patience. You guys are expecting things to come to you instant gratification. You want it now. You want this manifestation now. I was talking about my yoga studio. I had to wait two years for it to materialize. I was talking about merging in the UK. That took what, like four or five months? This stuff takes time. Keep putting what you want out into that continuum. But I mean, like I saw Amelia making fun of it. Like she said she's going to get a boyfriend, but then the second half was a joke. Like, yeah, right. Well, then you won't. You need to be sure of yourself. Do you not know that you planned your life? Did you not think that you planned something better than being miserable in the matrix? Let's get real. You planned out your life. Now, everyone says when the timing is right. That's bullshit too. There is only now. If you understand how time works, people aren't grasping that. You already are your higher self and you were that person when you came here. Time is not linear like they would like you to believe. There is only now. You don't have to wait for love. They want you to believe that you wait for love. That's fucked. <laughs> you can manifest it right now. It's already there waiting. You planned it out before you came here. So a lot of people are trying to manifest love. I never have a problem manifesting love. It's one of the easier things to manifest. You guys need to um, be more clear with your intent. Monica, Paula Mary, good. I'm kind of at a weird time of day, so I'm getting more people from the United Kingdom and Australia and other countries um, because, you know, I'm not in the United States anymore, so it's kind of amazing to be connecting on different levels with new starseeds. Amazing to connect. Monica, connect with the earth. I want to talk, I'll go ahead, like like I said, go ahead and drop, I need video ideas. Go ahead and shoot me an inbox, tell me what you want to hear about, whatever it is. You know I'm here all the time, um, just inbox this, this healing page, make sure you guys like the page too. But I'm going to do a video about the elementals, because I just had a crazy experience working with elementals when I was in Mount Shasta. Like they were all in my videos, like you could see them, it was pretty amazing. Get outside, get into nature, ask the elementals for your help. We work on free will laws, so if you're not asking for a assistance, then you're not going to get it. I guess a lot of you guys probably ask for galactic assistance on some level. Sometimes we put out unconscious callings we're not even aware of. On some level, for me to be here teaching you, you all put out a calling for extraterrestrial assistance of some kind. It could have been subconscious because you're star seeds. You might not even know you're a star seed. You might just be kind of waking up to that. Whatever it is, you put out either a conscious or unconscious calling to be assisted. So I am able to help you here. Now, the thing is, if we don't ask for help, there are free will laws. Your guides, your angels, your elemental friends, they will not assist. So it's really good to ask out loud for your angels' assistance, the elementals to assist. What I do is I make it clear I am willing to work with and um, be assisting any benevolent entities. Get outside more. 
Earth is abundance. I'm a Taurus and I'm really adept in manifesting. It's like what I like to do. I just sit around and manifest. But that's an Earth element energy. I have almost all Earth and water in my chart. So it's pretty easy for me to manifest. If you guys are trying to unlimit yourself, you guys need to get out into nature. Set your frequency to the Earth and you can manifest crazy things. This energy right now is lighting up my entire scan. I have built-in galactic scanning. So if you come near me and you're sick or whatever, it will light up my scan. This energy, however, is really intense. We are almost done with a space storm. It's going to last till Thursday, but we really don't get much of a break in between. Sorry to tell you. We're in a space storm. You're being hit with crazy galactic energies right now. And then we have a new moon, I believe, on Wednesday. So that energy is hitting the planet starting today, too. It is a powerful energy for manifesting. You guys should be using it. You guys should be drinking a lot of water. And I'm going to be here working till Thursday. You guys should be getting attuned or activated. A lot of you guys are coming to contract to finish your healing training. We teach a lot of healing classes. Check them out. Use this energy to get attuned or activated. Michelle Taylor, things are going to start to move really fast today. I'm ready. I rested up all weekend. I'm ready. I'm here. Things are going to move rapidly on this planet. We have this crazy energy. And sometimes the energy is stagnant in our lives. If you've lived in your house for a long time and you're holding on to a lot of objects and things, it will make your flow stagnant. We're here as an aspect of the divine, each one of us. We are just an aspect of God, the divine, call it what you want, and we're having human experiences. But the thing is, is that I think in my own life, it must get boring for the creator to be playing and experiencing things through us and with us. And, you know, when we're sitting in our house and doing the American nine to five paradigm, right? And we're just sitting there waiting to die. It must get boring. If we get outside of our comfort zone, and we create new experiences, if we're meant to have fun, things like that. You're going to be attracting more of the energy in your life that you need to do things. So we tend to let the energy get stagnant just by, you know, doing the same thing repeatedly. Lately, I've been stepping outside of my comfort zone. That's what I've been advised to do. That's very hard for a Taurus. Like, really, really hard. So I've been stepping outside of my comfort zone and you won't believe how the energy is moving in my life when I let go of everything in crazy, crazy ways. I have a powerful energy I'm working with and around me and it's pretty amazing. Um, a lot of you guys have been following my story and in a matter of minutes, I was moved so far across the world. Like it was like a matter of a few hours. It was like I felt like I was never going to the UK even though I was really trying and I just felt like I wasn't going to go. I was probably having a bad day too. And in a matter of like six to eight hours, this hurricane energy whirlwind ripped through my entire life, entire house, crumbling everything around me, powerful enough to move me across the world in a minute through an energy storm. So we're in this storm. It might feel slow. Like yesterday, the energy was at a standstill. It's about to rip through this reality on crazy levels. A lot of things are crumbling. I told someone yesterday via message, they were trying to talk to me. It's like talking to a brick wall. <clears throat> they were trying to talk to me about politics. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, all those systems are just going to go, right? <laughs> and they're like, why would you want that? Oh, my God, you need these systems. Typical answer. I said, I don't know. I think that on deep levels, anything not serving humanity is just going to go. It's not me who's deciding these things. I'm just viewing them as they are. And anything not serving humanity is just going to go. Chantel writes, amazing. Share it several times. Put it on your page. Put it on the groups. We like to flood Facebook. I'm doing, like I said, my whole skin is lit up from this energy. I um, was right, I'm right by the ley lines over here. And we have not just the heart chakra ley line energy here. We have the third eye ley line energy here. I'm, I'm going to wait till tomorrow, but I'm setting up a spiritual retreat um, in the United Kingdom in March. We're renting a huge over the top castle with a ridiculous budget. And we're going to do amazing things. I'm bringing my students to assist. It's going to be like this huge event. So I'm going to be putting that up on my site like today or tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. A lot of you guys are already in the United Kingdom. Maybe you guys want to do a spiritual retreat. Um, things like that. It's an amazing energy because we do have the heart chakra ley line as well as the third eye chakra ley lines. And we're going to do this. We have the events given to us. Of course, the universe just gives us what to do, right? We have the events picked out. I guess it's spring solstice. And there's going to be like this insane energy in these areas. 
and I can't wait. Chantel, don't be waiting for anyone to come save you. They'll sell you on stories that the extraterrestrials will come save you. Jesus is coming to save you. Whatever it is. Anything to make you wait. Anything to make you wait. And what's even worse is when you wake up, you believe you're awake. That was just one layer of magic. You have many to go. When you remember who you are, not who someone told you. When you have your memories back and your knowledge back of who you are from your past lives and you have an understanding of your mission on deeper levels and what you're doing here, I would say you're coming to lucidity still. So people want you to believe that it's like a one stop, like I had an awakening. Like they want you to believe that there was a creator that would put you to sleep to be tortured here so you would wake up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just isn't I just not buying it anymore. I saw through it. I wore I got past those layers of magic by doing my own past life activations and doing this energy work and that is not accurate. Everything that I was led to believe was a false reality as well, false light teachings. And that's not true. It was actually just magic that was used on humanity that's wearing off. It only will last to a certain age. You'll notice um like you'll notice a pattern in the ages people are waking up. MK Ultra will only last to those ages. That's why you see the celebrities having like public breakdowns when they get to a certain age. They say Taylor Swift's the next one to wake up and get to, then she gets to choose, right? Then you have to choose whether you serve humanity or continue to serve yourself. John Quintero, base chakra. You're working on your root chakra? Amazing. I was feeling a little ungrounded this morning. Not just for me, but the people around me tend to just not handle the energy as well as me sometimes. Like, I'm real adept in this. I rest up. I'm prepared. You know, I'm feeling amazing today. And a lot of people are ungrounded. Desiree gave me this bracelet. Um, if she's tuning in, I was telepathying her. I think I need you to send me something different with some magic, too. I really love it, though. Um, maybe you could send me something or, like, some drawings from your cave, whatever. But I really love this. It's amazing, and it's going to keep me grounded today. So work on grounding. That's how you get through these storms. Work on letting go of fear. Jessica Grasso, we hate authority. <laughs> we really hate authority. Why should we? Someone I was at talking to me about marriage. <laughs> Sorry. The, and the same person talking to me about politics was telling me about what's the difference between being spiritually married and married by the government. I said, well, does the government possess any more power or do they have any more pull with God than we do? Do you really think the government has more sway than God than we would on an individual level? Because I'm just thinking that's not the case. I mean, whatever it is. Sorry. So I know these systems will have you believe that they're the ones and that they have all this pull. But let's get real. We don't have to go out and fight them. We never did. We watch. We observe. We are here to collect data. We're here as scientists. <laughs> We're supposed to observe. We're not supposed to get involved with 3D things. So we're supposed to watch as anything not serving humanity is just going to crumble away. When we get involved, we align with the very things that we hate karmically. If you fight the systems, you will align yourself with them. So for me, I like to untangle myself. I don't want to become more tangled up. Janine Brechton, amazing. Good to see you. You're working on letting go of fear. You're working on setting a firm foundation. And I know like everyone thinks we're there, but let's get real. How could we feel secure when we have five to ten years before humanity is destroyed? <laughs> like on crazy levels. So how could you feel secure here? I know there's all these ego personalities that are deluding us into we're awake. This is great. I'm ascending. <laughs> Things are going amazing. We can just ignore the negative. But that's not the case. On a spiritual soul level, your soul knows the truth. So we can delude ourselves in these relationships. You'll notice, with, I'll go back to the twin flame example. They'll tell you it's the hardest relationship ever. You're going to fight all the time. Of course. You went through some shit with that person in your past life and your soul hates them on a deep level. You came here to clear that stuff so you never had to be around them again. <laughs> that's the goal. You want to clear your karma so you never have to come back. 
with these people ever again a lot of the time. So we can go ahead and we can keep letting our egos delude us that we need to practice unconditional love. It's just we have a lot of baggage. We're hard to love. We can go ahead and keep doing this to ourselves. But on a deep level, your soul knows this is not the case. Your soul knows that these teachings are trapping you on deeper levels and that's not the way it is. So work on grounding. We should not feel secure. I'm putting out such a calling because things are becoming dire. We're running out of time. We did not have all of the star seeds that agreed to assist wake up and obligate their contracts. And it's too hard for the ones that are assisting because we need a multi set of gifts and skills. I can't do this on my own. You offer something much different than I ever will. We came here unique. While we come from one source, we are not the same. We should be embracing those and learning how to work together and to come to unity. Denise Boggs, hi. Hit my, you guys should be hitting my inbox, seeing what's going on, seeing how you can further your missions. If you're not on your mission, you're in huge trouble or about to be. I will really think about that. I ha love the excuses I get. I have kids. I have a job. You know what will happen? Your whole life will fall in and the universe will make you. You can read the signs and make it a lot easier for yourself. Now I have the same people that were ignoring me um, a year ago coming to my inbox and saying, I just lost my job. I lost my family. I lost my house. Don't get to that point so that the universe is going to make you get on those missions. We create suffering that way. It's only us. You should be remembering why you came here. And we know that sex is a way that we get polarized. That's why we have so many relationships is because we're trying to polarize you energetically. You're being sought to see if you're service or self or service to others. And I keep telling you guys, helping your family doesn't count. Taking care of your kids does not count as service of others. I'm sorry. You would do that anyway. It's not going to count. You guys think that taking care of your family is enough. No. You guys are still living service of self lives where you care about your car and your money and the material more than humanity. And when everyone can get on their mission and set aside what they want, this one consciousness group can elevate out of here. I can't leave. I'm ready. I've been ready to leave. I've done the inner work. I've been healing myself. I've been healing others for a while now. I'm one of the few healers that is healed that was cleared enough to go on this mission. So I feel I'm ready to leave. I can't leave until our entire consciousness group is healed and ready. That's all of you guys. So we have a lot of work to do, despite what people may think. Denise, you're going to be successful in anything you're doing. Keep elevating your vibrational frequency. That is the key. Yeah, Jessica. And a lot of us have, like I said, it's called a love bite. You've been manipulated through your relationships more than you know. You've been manipulated through circumstances in your lives because that is how you were hacked for your knowledge and encrypted furtherly. We give people access to our energy. And like I said, there's a lot of spiritually unseen around. Work on grounding, Jessica. As a Pisces, you have a heavy Neptune element, as I was reading about. It can be hard for love. It can make you feel, it can make the other person feel like a roller coaster. Like you feel like the most amazing love one second, and then you feel these highs and lows. It can be, if you're a Pisces, it can be a challenging sign for others to navigate. It depends how much of that element you have in your chart. Work on grounding. I know you don't want to be in this reality. You're like me. I have that Pisces element as well. I would rather be daydreaming and manifesting and surfing through the Akash or whatever it is. Work on grounding your energy. That is something I've been mastering. I had to go to California just to learn how to ground. I was supposed to bring that Zen out vibe here, but you know how that goes. Dan Kaft, good morning. What are you sacrificing your energy to? It's like my hot topic, right? I was explaining yesterday that I'm very protective over this consciousness group's energy. A lot of you guys know me, you vibe with me. I'm going to go ahead and drop a link for a couple of my movements um, afterwards, after I get off of here, you guys can come vibe with us. I'm very protective, like of entities attacking us, any drama, whatever it is. I just want to vibe every day. Like I just want to put my frequency through the roof and I want to manifest and chill. That's just me, okay? So pay attention to who is draining you 
and who is uplifting you in your everyday life. For me, I would be around, you know, like that last relationship I talk about. And they would sound really good spiritually, but it was really draining to be around. But, I mean, they loved me. And it was just, you know, they were vibing with me too. Pay attention not to people's words, but to their energy and how they're making you feel. It is my intent that I'm going to put a lot of energy out through this feed. I am a grid worker. I channel insane amounts of energy every day. And I want to make you guys feel better if only for five minutes. I just want to make your life a little better. And hopefully you go about your day and then you guys can live vibes and whatever it is. We can create either these negative or positive ripple effects. And I'm really careful with my energy. If my energy isn't on point, I won't be allowed to stream. I won't be allowed around you guys. Because are we infecting or affecting the grid? We're all connected to that consciousness grid now that we're awake. So we can go ahead and blame this reality on the other people, but they're not connected to it. They're not co-creating. We are. So it's really important that we understand that we have to be careful with our own energy now that we're connected to that grid because we're going to influence it in extreme ways. I can influence that consciousness grid, but you are too. Just your mood and your vibration is affecting thousands of people on a daily basis. So we really need to get our, um, get our frequencies up. And you can't do that overnight. I've been raising my frequency for a good three years now. And it's going to happen gradually. And the thing is, is that everyone's going to stay in a vibratory range. Like you're never going to just crash all the way down. It's not possible. So, you know, I might have my bad day down here and my good days down there. I'm going to stay within this vibratory range. That's the amazing thing. But we know that we can't lift our vibrations overnight. And that's the problem with humanity that I know everyone will teach you that we're all one and everyone makes it. But that's not true. Ascension is very hard. And not everyone is going to make it. So we really have to work at raising our vibrations. And for me, I can vibe around the healers and the light workers and do that. And I think it's really amazing way to activate and learn with each other. <clears throat> amazing to see you. Catherine Garland, amazing to see you too. I am seeking those that can see through my illusions. I just did, um, I was doing astrology all day yesterday. I love it, right? So that's a sink running into you. She does astrology too. So I'm kind of like doing astrology for this girl and I'm doing her chart and I told her that I am seeking those that can see past my illusions. Yes, I still have illusions. Yes, I have to. I'm on feed and they're going all over the spiritual communities and it draws attention to me in a crazy kind of way. Like I would prefer to stay hidden in my house, in my empath bubble, right? <laughs> and it kind of draws attention to me. So we're seeking those that can see past the illusions, that can see the spiritual, that can see through this little ego personality when me usually playing weed girl or whatever I do in my free time, right? I need those that can see with some depth. I need those that have really good intuition, um, their third eyes open, whatever it is. And that's amazing. So keep strengthening your own intuition. It's going to lead you to amazing places. Reiki is a draconian teaching. Reiki is definitely an energy. I don't think you guys understand. There's many labels for that. Pranic, healing, I teach, chi, Reiki. There's a million classes on my site. Definitely not. I'm sending you Reiki now. How is it making you feel? It should be making you feel good. <laughs> or you would have clicked off my feed by now. So um, that is a life force energy. So you need it or you'll die. So they can say that life force energy is bad. But having all your chakras open is enlightenment. Clearly you want as much of that source energy running through your body as you can get. Um, you can tell I'm reverse aging. You guys can go look at my personal page and you can see my journey. You can see that I'm actually reverse aging from this energy. I've activated all of my DNA and I'm doing amazing. So, I mean, it's up for, it's for you to decide, right? <laughs> but um, I'm going to tell you something. Negative entities don't like that good energy. They feed on negative energy. They don't want the life force energy that's amazing and feeling great. They don't, they're not, there's no entities on my video right now. We're all clear and vibing, right? They don't like that energy. They will be around the fear energy, the anxiety, the nasty energy. So um, I don't know about draconians. I'm not into topics like that. I don't even know what that word is. You know, maybe reptiles are talking about, whatever. Any negative, I just say negative entities because I don't like to give them power. When you're referencing those things, um, then you're giving them power. I also stay away from people who talk about topics like that. We prefer talking about like sex, merging, having fun, manifesting, things like that. Um, so beware, anyone who's talking about negative entities, they probably are one and I would just get rid of them. But this is a life force energy and it makes up your entire conscious reality. There is only one um, energy 
they say the force is neither good or bad. It depends on how you're using it. So I'm going to be using the same energy the witches are using or the bad people as well. It's no different. There's only one conscious energy that makes up our reality. So it's neither good or bad. You're thinking really dualistically still. And that's how you stay trapped in the third dimension by separating things into categories like good, bad. Let me think of another one, right? I don't know. Good, bad. You get the idea. You guys can't do that anymore. You guys are into these third dimensional concepts. The force is neither good or bad. It depends on the person using it. And we're all channels. Rest and rejuvenate. Unplug, you're watching too many YouTube videos or reading too much stuff or hanging out with too many people who do. All that these things are going to do is cloud your own reality and you already are mistaken with the concepts you're bringing to my video. They're already really inaccurate. So we're taking in inaccurate information and I think people are having a hard time discerning what is real and what is um, not real around us. Use better discernment. I teach Reiki, the sites above. And by the way, you're contracted to take it with me. So the fact that you're coming to me and saying that won't help you later. You all hold a contract with these councils, like I said. Um, so, you know, you might want to be careful when you're talking shit about Reiki because it just makes you look really stupid. I can't say it anyway. Anyone who talks shit about Reiki, like I had it explained to me and broken down. It just makes you look really stupid when you're an energy worker, you're a grid worker and you channel that energy. Whether you're consciously aware of it or not, you're actually transmuting and doing more for this matrix than you might even know. <laughs> so anyone who talks shit about Reiki, it's just ridiculous. Sorry, I had to. Let's see. Okay, we're going to do Akamon. I can't say your name. Quidel. Could I? Financial and material changes. I'm trying to help you guys remove these blocks. <clears throat> these energetic limitations. We should be living in abundance and just instant manifesting the things that we want and vibing and having fun much like I live my life now. And I'm trying to get everyone there. We need to remove these manifesting blocks. Good. I see Brittany. Please share this. Save me. Someone's talking shit about Reiki. I'm level 500 from the second I woke up this morning. I can't help it. I'm trying. So we're here to manifest abundance. We could be living much differently. We don't have to be living sick and in poverty and in lack. Um, so how you're going to do that is you're going to change your vibrational frequency and you're going to change your thoughts and your limiting concepts. We do have a lot of healing to do, myself included. I'm sorry, we can go ahead and delude ourselves into thinking that we don't have work to do because they'll teach you that you're great and you can just go wake everyone up and you're at a higher elevation than everyone, but we know that's not true. Good, Anthony Ashwood. We're gonna be making some art projects today, I hope. I'm manifesting new banners and maybe we'll, Brittany, we, I tagged you, we wanna change the color of our groups. Let's do some redecorating today, I can't wait. But. Anthony, like me, is grouped and contracted learning with me because we have similar experiences and things that we need to heal. You guys get matched up based on a lot of things with your lessons. And he's healing his heart chakra and so am I. It's amazing because I'm working with green crystals. It's the only one I brought. And I'm channeling this heart chakra ley line energy. So I'm really glad that you could actually catch me because we're always missing each other. He's like night shift and I'm day shift. And we're always walking opposite shifts. It's amazing that you could catch me. I'm channeling out this extreme heart chakra energy. Like I was out on the ley lines and it was lighting my whole skin up. I couldn't breathe. It was very intense for healing. So make sure you drink a lot of water. Keep working on your heart chakra. We had so much grief and heartache in past lives that we brought with us that I doubt we could ever comprehend. And when I did heal myself this life, guess what? You guys have to heal your past lives. <laughs> Okay, so you're healed completely. Then I had to go on this journey that took several months of going into my past, my Akashic, and healing my past lives because I didn't realize how that was really the core and the root of everything I was experiencing in this life. My lessons just on replay. Don't you guys feel like you're getting similar lessons over and over throughout your life? You are. They're not coming from here. The source is usually in past lives. So we're dealing with a lot of heartache and grief that we wouldn't even understand. Dan Atkinson. It's okay if you don't believe. I don't need you to. I'm activating you regardless. <laughs> That's the amazing thing about these videos. If I can just get you guys in one space. And some of you guys, like, like that girl who hates Reiki. Perfect. It doesn't matter. She hasn't tuned off the video. There's a reason. You're contracted to be here. There really is. 
So, Dan, you're also working on heartache and loss. Most of the people on this feed have a lot of past life healing to do, and that's really my area of expertise. It's why a lot of you are being led to me. Work on your heart chakra. That's how we achieve liberation. I know everyone thinks that we've liberated, but until I leave this realm, I haven't liberated. <clears throat> I can go ahead and believe I'm in higher dimensions. I may be because of my frequency, but I doubt it. If I go outside, I'm seeing the same shit everyone else is in 3D. So we can keep deluding ourselves that our house is in higher dimensions. And then when we go to work, we're going into the lower ones. But let's get real. Till I leave this place, I have yet to liberate. I love it. Anthony Ashwood. Yes. How many times have the empaths been giving their whole lives with nothing reciprocated? I was one of those people. I will give and give and give to a detriment to myself, wanting to assist, and I was always creating more harm than good. I take love as a currency. <laughs> love. It's my favorite form of currency. The people around me know that, dealing with me. Trust me on that. I mean, there are all forms of currency you can take, right? But we need to look for these even energy exchanges, and you guys need to realize that as healers, that the people that you're attracting in your relationships are usually people you contracted to heal. I, had, I have had a lot of guys get confused with my role. This is why I mainly work with the Divine Feminine where, you know, I've been contracted to heal them and they think it's something else and their ego minds or whatever it is. And I had to be like, trust me, that would never happen. You're confused. Whatever it is. So there's a lot of confusion in your relationships in the past as healers. Let's see. Siren Hectate, amazing. Don't make any big decisions. I'm always trying to connect with you, but I'm Facebook banned. I did tag you in that music video I was in because I'm banned to those two groups. So if anyone wants to vibe with me, um, you can't vibe on my page anymore. I've been banned three months. You guys got to come vibe in my little group spaces. Don't make any big decisions right now. This energy is at a standstill. It's about to whip through the planet on crazy levels. And like I said, we have six planets going into retrograde. I put um, an astrology link on my site that you guys can go ahead and read about the upcoming energies. It's crazy. Yes, love and healing comes from your heart. I love the one where it says, I heal with my heart. It will only work out of love. You can only manifest out of love. Like, I have that big problem <coughs> with some of the manifesting programs. They're trying to teach people, yeah, you can just win the lotto this way and whatever. It doesn't work like that. Um, there are certain rules of the universe that we can learn to use for ourselves. Elisa Wilson. What is false light to me? All of the teachings circulating around the spiritual communities that are keeping people trapped in a fourth dimensional reptilian prison system like I told you. Um, let me see. All the things, like if you want to pray to saints for something, that, that's going to come with a price. They don't tell you that, right? If you're going to ask the saints for assistance, it's going to come for a price. They teach you that in Santeria. Um, let me see, all the Archangel teachings, everything circulating in my New Earth United group. The healers that are not healed, that are trying to heal people. The readers that are doing more damage than good by telling people things that are not true and then people are creating it. Things like that. You know, just the teachings that, teaching you that you woke up and you need to wake everyone else up and that you're ascending just everything that I used to teach. You can go back in my videos and you can see it's been a continual process. It's all around us. I think you should set up a reading and set up, it's the same person, asking like 50 questions on the video too. If you guys need me one-on-one -on -one to ask questions, I'd be happy to answer anything. Via a one-on-one -on -one session, it's just the Akashic reading lesson. I go into past lives, future probabilities. You can ask me questions. Your life is to control and think about heaven. John, how about we're meant to create heaven on earth and actually heaven and hell are states of mind. I've been to hell on earth. <laughs> I've created it. A lot of you guys probably did too, not realizing it. So now we're here to create heaven on earth. We saw everything that we didn't like. And heaven does not exist. There's another realm. I think people might be talking about the other realms when they talk about heaven because they feel like heaven. They feel really amazing and beautiful. You know, think about your dream experiences. There are many other places, dimensions and realms other than this. But it's my understanding we actually came to bring heaven to earth. We came to bring those higher frequencies here. And it's a gradual process. You're being rebooted. Your body's being upgraded. It's not going to happen overnight. This is a gradual healing process. But everything as you know it is going to fade away. And um, from what I see, it looks like heaven. So that might be what people are talking about. Maybe confused. But John, you're an energy worker. 
And that's powerful. We all are on this feed. I'm drawing the healers to me. Like I said, we have a lot of healing work to do to get everyone on their contracted missions. Good. Lucy, you're from Leeds, UK. Amazing. Like I said, I'm setting up a huge United Kingdom. I have several missions going on here. I have an NWO Freedom Fighter UK mission going on. And a lot of you guys know Lionel Anderson and I created New Earth United. I'm doing a mission with that entire group. I'm doing um, a Sparks of Divine Light healing spiritual retreat that is going to be epic and huge at the end of March. But I'm also working on several Vax projects from the movie with Joshua Coleman and uh, a couple other projects. I have a lot of things that I'm bringing to this area, as well as I'm going to bring a lot of our consciousness group here. It's pretty amazing. Nice to connect. You're here for truth. You're not gonna find it via anything people are giving you on video. You're gonna find that on energetic levels within yourself by activating yourself and activating your DNA. I'm gonna let you guys go on that note because I do have a lot of work um, to do the next couple days. I'll be back live again tomorrow. I did put up a new activation um, <clears throat> in our store. It's pretty amazing. It's a malware protection activation to prevent you from being spiritually attacked. There are things that you can do to stop these things permanently. So I put up a new activation. Um, I put up a new category too with Agent P's art that you can see behind me. And I put a lot of new stuff on our site. Go check it out. Go get on your classes. Um, and be careful talking about Reiki when you were once a Reiki master so many lifetimes. Like you guys that talk shit about... Reiki, you guys are the energy masters, so really you should probably look into those concepts a little more um, before you go around talking about who you are badly, because it's not good for your throat chakra. If we're speaking something that is not in vibrational alignment with our higher selves, it really blocks up our throat chakras completely, cutting us off from the higher dimensions. Truth is one of the keys that you need. You need love, and you need truth, and you need wisdom equally. They talk about a threefold flame in your heart. And all of those plumes need to be equal. So don't shut yourself down by cutting yourself off from your higher self. Your higher self is an energy master. You have been every lifetime. It is who you are, nothing more. You heal and that is it. So be careful going against who you are too. Sending you guys love and light.